Hey students, uh, Dr. Dan Stevens here. Uh, this module is uh, debt management. I just want to uh, give you a brief overview. Um, as I just received my student uh, perception of instruction report for the last semester, and it seems that a lot of students were, uh, you know, of the mind that, uh, you know, a lot of my activities didn't necessarily relate specifically to the school objectives, or they didn't see exactly how. So, for that reason, I wanted to kind of give you a heads up, give you an overview. Um, yes, I do listen to uh, my students. <laughs> whenever whenever a number of you say, you know, the same thing, then I'm like, okay, well maybe, you know, there's something to this. I need to, uh, you know, adjust what I'm doing. So, anyway, um, so debt management, the module debt management, as I said, um, you know, that's uh, this week's module. We're talking about, um, you know, government borrowing money. That's in a, in a nutshell. The government and or nonprofit organizations. Now I'm going to leave it to you to scour all the content of the online uh, portal to find out the differences between the two, um, which there are some differences, by the way, between the nonprofits and the government, what they can and cannot do. Um, you're going to start out with like your, your brief overview of you know what debt debt management is the full faith and credit that's a um, phrase that you'll hear throughout and uh, let me let me give you a, a reader's digest version of that full faith and credit means that the government stands behind that agreement you know they say okay you know John Smith over here he's an investor he's going to give his thousand bucks to Osceola County Osceola County is going to issue these bonds and they say you know we want to uh, build a road so John's going to invest a thousand of his dollars in Osceola County Osceola County promises to give him back that thousand bucks plus interest right um, now here's the catch that with a general obligation bond what they're doing is they're saying we promise that we're going to give you that thousand bucks plus interest back and if we don't you know if we can't afford it you know the economy falls out or whatever then uh, we're going to raise property taxes enough to uh, be able to cover our debts that's the full faith and credit of the government so that what that means is that the taxpayers <laughs> the property owners are on the hook you know for the, paying back that money so um, for that reason, general obligation bonds with, you know, backed by the full faith and credit of the government have to go before the voters. You know, if they're going to be on the hook for the uh, the debt, if something happens, then, you know, they're going to have a say in whether or not it gets issued, right? So, lastly, um, general obligation bonds or GO bonds are actually the, uh, the uh, interest that an uh, investor makes on it. It's actually tax exempt. That's kind of a sweet thing, right? So, uh, Anyway, um, full faith and credit, understand that. There's a little quiz in there, six points, right? Uh, Short-term debt, long-term debt, understand the difference between the two. Um, there's quizzes associated with each of these activities now. I found that that's actually working a lot better. I think uh, students, you know, I, I set things up on my computer, and I used to set up all these slides, and they had... Uh, uh, extra credit embedded on the slides even, but I found that a lot of people weren't taking advantage of that. And as I discovered, a lot of times, uh, like I'm looking at my smartphone, uh, I've got my Android here, look at my smartphone, I don't even see a place where I can look at modules or pages. Or, you know, you can go to pages, but they're not ordered, they're not grouped by modules. So I've shifted to plan B, I've made everything a quiz, and they're all released at the same time so that way you you know I found a lot more success like this everybody's doing all the quizzes they're garnering all the uh, uh, points everybody's happy camper so anyway short-term debt long-term debt go through that understanding the legal debt limit that's a, a concept that's um, you know it's uh, foreign to a lot of people um, in a nutshell let's say Osceola County every single parcel in Osceola County, you know, you have a plot of land, you have a quarter acre lot your house sits on. How much is that land worth? Well, your property tax, uh, your property appraiser is going to determine that. This is worth, you know, $100,000. So think about every single parcel in the entire county. What are all those values added up? 
Okay, that's the assessed value of that county. So now when the county goes to borrow money or issue debt, there, you know, there are laws that say you can only issue debt up to a certain percentage of your assessed value. You know, it might say up to 10% of your assessed value. So if there's, if every parcel of land in Osceola County is worth a billion dollars, all combined together, and you're only able to borrow up to 10% of that, that's your debt limit. Okay, anyway, again, there's an exercise in there explaining that. Uh, pay as you go versus pay as you use, uh, two concepts. You know, one is where you already have this much money built in your budget. Don't borrow money. It costs money to cost money to borrow money, right? So use the money you already have. That's one way. Of course, you're limited in some respects. You might not have a lot of it. Whereas if you've got, you know, grand designs, you might need to borrow money. Okay, so anyway, understand the difference between those methods of financing, you know, various kind of bond, you know, financial instruments. Learn um, the pros and cons, you know, revenue bond, where you're going to use this money to build, let's say, a water treatment facility, something where they charge customers money, you know, or a utility or something like that. That's a revenue, you know, they issue revenue bonds for those, and the money that you pay that back with is, you know, you know, from your utility bills, whatever. Whereas the general obligation bond, like I said, relies on investors. Anyway, read those, understand the difference between those instruments. Uh, and then I've got, from that point on, I've got a lot of your math problems. Yeah, I know, social science majors a lot of times are math averse, I'm sorry. But <clears throat> my thought is, if you're gonna be a leader of an agency or governmental entity, that has a billion dollar budget, you need to know a little bit about money, right? You need to know something about numbers. Um, admittedly, a lot of this information is something you're gonna probably farm out to a subordinate anyway, but nonetheless, you're still gonna need to know enough to be dangerous. So what I've done is I've got all these exercises in there and then they, will, they don't show you the answers. They don't show the correct answers, but they're only, they're quizzes they have maybe five or six questions, okay? There's a lot of instruction in there. You should be able to figure that out, you know, plow through that. Um, now, at the end of the day, the last um, or the penultimate uh, uh, activity is practice problems for debt management. Those are basically the same type of numeric uh, number-based problems, word problems, but the, the main difference is that they actually have the correct answers that show and they also show how I derived those answers. So, uh, so you've got the activities, you go and you figure those out and you're gonna practice with those and then you'll try those practice answers at the end that will also give you the correct answers and, and it does give you points, by the way, it's not just a freebie, you know, if you're doing the work then you're gonna, you know, score some points there. Anyway, so that's, that's how that's gonna work and then there's also a quiz at the end too, um, the difference being the practice problems are more the math based, the word problems. The quiz is more about the content, uh, the narrative and things like that. Um, difference between this and that, whatever. So anyway, and all of them, um, you know, you'll find, uh, I think I uh, fairly uh, weighted the scores on all of them, you know, so you should do pretty well with that. Um, by the way, um, I do have, um, since you've, uh, uh, taking all your time to uh, uh, watch my video, I'm going to invite you to go to quiz number one. If you go to the quizzes, look down the left-hand margin of your uh, portal or go to the quizzes. If you're on your smartphone, just go to quizzes. Look for quiz number one. Uh, now you'll see that you need an access code. The access code is 62885. Again, 62885. You pop that code in there, you enter the quiz, it's just a single question, you know, hit the yes, you know, you understand, whatever. And what you'll do is you'll get uh, three extra points. Woohoo! So anyway, uh, just for, uh, you know, humor me and uh, listening to my uh, video. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you folks have a wonderful week and uh, I'll be in touch.